So Steelers suck this year. Like, they have no offense. Defense is getting torched. One of the highest paid defenses, if not the highest paid defenses in the league. Can't even stop uh, Samaj P. Ryan and the Jamar, Jamar Chaseless Bengals uh, to save their life. And allowed uh, 37 points on them. Which is just one less than they allowed against the Bills earlier this year. This team has been getting blown out. Game dismantled. Not been good. Offense is a dud. Defense overpaid. Not really good. But today we're gonna try and fix that and rebuild my favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And obviously we're gonna be starting the rookie Kenny Pickett, number twenty overall pick in this past year's draft. Because why would we start anyone else? Like we have Najee Harris, who definitely has taken a step back this year. It's been dealing with injuries, whatever. We have Deontay Johnson, very underrated still, but yet also one of the more one of the better route runners in the league. Does deal with some drop issues from time to time. Overall though, still really good. Young. Gonna have to decide what to do with him though. Resign him. Trade him. Probably not trade him. Then we have Miles Boykin, the rookie George Pickens out of Georgia. Which looks to be a stud. Looks to be another home run pick for Tomlin. Which is shocking. Obviously, we traded Chase Claypool to the Bears, but we're really using them. Got to call the draft picks back for that. So, offensive line needs work. Dan Moore probably not the guy. Mason Cole probably not. Kevin Dotson probably stays for a remainder of the rebuild. James Daniel probably stays as well. But tackles definitely need to be improved. Have Pat Frymouth, who is alright. It's pretty good. And then the defense, the highest paid defense in the league. Uh, yeah. Got TJ Watt back finally. A couple weeks ago against the Saints. Played last week against Bengals. So. Let me just turn my best lineup so. Okay. Well, Larry Young and Jovi's gonna be my defensive tackle for the year. But other than that, defensive tackle needs to be worked out. Got William Jackson during the trade in line as well over from uh, the Commanders. Got Mika Fitzpatrick. Smith, Devin Bush, who I think has been playing better, not too sure. Jermaine Edmonds definitely needs to be upgraded over at some point, unless he can get to star maybe. I don't know though, how old is he already? Already 25. Unless he can get star, probably not going to look the room back. You, you know what? I'm cutting Trubisky. Tri signed him to a two-year deal in the offseason. I don't care. Trubisky is not the starter for this team. Kenny Pickett is the starter. And have a mentor rookie uh, scenario. What is this about? Ah, uh, Deontay wanted to um, train George Pickens. Let's go for long-term development. Let's see what that does. Literally nothing. Alright. Now for this first year, I will be using a 2022 draft class. 
or 2023, I guess, um, from Bengal. It's only on Xbox, so this is the most up to date, to my knowledge. Actually, just to make sure, have Project Jones moving on Miles Murphy, Keely Ringo, Brian Brzee, a lot of good players in here. Now let's just see what this is about the rookie quarterback. Game pick and making his debut. I'm sure there's balance between pressure performing the end same as first start. What are you expecting this week? I expect him to show flashes, not even win necessarily. Be dwindled and get two plus passing touchdowns. It's possible. And then season goal. Kind of want to put it on par with what really is maybe seven wins for the year. But that almost seems too high even. So. We'll see. See how we did. We lost 34 to 7. Double game all around, as you didn't get the win, and Kane Pickett didn't have the game you had hoped for. Definitely an ideal, but it's only one game. This isn't going to define our season or his career, so I'm not too worried about it. Ken Pickett didn't meet the initial ex expectations, but it's playing time to improve. That's right. And if you don't, I don't know. So, coming off a victory against Patriots in week 2. Um, we have the first mock draft. Let's see what they think we're going to get. Oh, for Sean, you know, Penn State. Now, that is an interesting choice. Because, one, they think we're going to have the first overall pick. Which, granted, it's possible. Because we suck. <laughs> but, also, I don't know. But obviously, if Olu Fashanu is not there, then we could always look down a little bit and maybe get like a Broderick Jones or Peter Skaronsky, right? That, that, yeah, Peter Skaronsky out Northwestern, go Wildcats. Funny that they, they think the Lions are gonna get another tight end since they traded away uh, TJ Hawkinson. It's all this about. Now let's see what players are going to be in here for uh, ready to negotiate mid-season. William Jackson, I don't know yet. Terrell Edmonds, I don't know yet. Cam Sutton, that's what happens with uh, William Jackson. Devin Bush, I don't know. A lot of these I just don't know on, and then a bunch of them as well just cut. Free up cap space. So, yeah. Probably gonna sim to um, middle of season, around week eight, and uh, see where we stand there. So I'll see you there. So we're back here, week eight, coming off a fifty-two to twenty victory. That how? Like, do we we, we still have Kenny Pickett starting, right? Like, how? Yeah, Kenny Pickett's still starting. Our defense must have just played really good, right? Let's check the schedule for that. Obviously, as you can see, I haven't played any games or anything. Three touchdowns, one pick for Pickett. Versus one pick, or one touchdown, four picks for Tua. Okay. Let's just look at... Steelers real quick. 150 rushing yards and two touchdowns for Najee. Okay. Receiving not really a lot there. Only one sack for TJ. Two picks for Jackson. And Sun. One for Sutton, one for Witherspoon. Are they all pick sixes or? No defense, huh? The, none of this makes sense. I am. None of what I just seen adds up to 52 points. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it does. No, it don't. 35. 
because Toy Mom from Pickett, and then oh, Benny Snell also got two. Gotcha. That's how. Dang, Benny Snell also pretty good like for back running back. That we're okay. Pickett's starting to heat up in the in the league. All right, I and mean, we still have four and three, but that's a pretty good win. But uh, we have our Mac Draft 2 out now. Now we're projected to get Broderick Jones. And Olu Fashanu has fallen. And now it's projected to go to Philly. But. We'll see what happens. It's still pretty far away to the draft. And then our Scout National. Why are you scouting QB? No, corner. I need corner scouted. Please. Thank you. So coming back to you, um, at week 11, we have a breakout linebacker after a 13-10 loss against New Orleans. So, uh, see what this is all about. Oh, it's about Alex Highsmith. All the Bengals lost 200 yards to get Alex Highsmith two interceptions, four fumbles, tackles, loss, or sacks. If Alex Highsmith can go up to Superstar, because I think he's on the star right now, as Devin Bush now has a uh, Defensive Player of the Week. Nice. Well, let's hear who this is. Coach, you should watch some tape on halfback Devin Ak Akane. He's climbed up draft boards and has really improved his ball security. Thanks for the heads up, something. I said it's Kevin. Devin Akane. Alright, let, let's choose our focus players. So let, let me look at this running back. Devin Ashane out of Texas A&M. Great to elite at most, except strength and agility. I mean, don't look like a bad player, but we really don't need a running back. Let's see how we did with uh, Alex Heisman as well, actually. Then have the game out of four with my phone, I had to start selling where I didn't put Damn. Alright, let's see what we found out about, uh, let's see, we did right tackle. Or maybe it, okay. I think what I'm going to do now is meet up with you guys at the end of the year. So I'll see you then. Actually coming back to you week 14 now. Uh, we're 6-6 six and six up to coming up with 26 to nothing victory over Atlanta with a breakout DB scenario. Have you closely, how closely have you watched Levi Walls? Keep an eye on him against the Ravens, if you continue to dominate. So we have to hold the Ravens less than 150 passing yards, which is possible because they'll probably just try and run the ball with Lamar Jackson 40 times a game. And try and pound the rock on us. So I think we can do that, technically speaking. <laughs> so let's see. I mean, we won 24 17, so it's possible. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty quiet game. Well, never mind. But we did get a weekly award out of that, though. For Kenny Pickett, actually. Not really lighting it up, but he's a rookie. What, what do you expect? And go ahead and just into the playoffs now. Don't really see us making it, but I guess it's always likely. And we actually did after 4 9 17 victory. We had tiebreaker over Cincinnati. And, uh, yeah, do we. We have to be like the four seed or the three. 
since he actually still got in. So even if we didn't win the division, we probably would have still got in. Huh. Okay. So, can you pick it? That's look pretty good. Uh, touchdown and interception ratio for a rookie, 35 touchdowns. I think that breaks the rookie record for passing touchdowns in a year. Maybe even passing yards. So, almost past uh, Andrew Luck's rookie passing yards, but missed out by about 100, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Najee having an alright season, four and a half yards per carry. Want to see that a little higher, but still pretty good, especially with the offensive uh, QB production. And 12 touchdowns definitely can't. Then Benny Snell's full turn four away. Then receiving George Pickens, 1100 yards, eight touchdowns. Deontay about 1010. Pretty good. Anthony Miller's the third option. Don't hate it. Devin Bush leading the team in tackles. Miles Jack right behind him. 24 TFLs for Cam Hayward. 17 for TJ. 11 sacks for Highsmith. 10 and a half. We need more sacks. We just do. More sack production. Is a five picks on here for William Jackson, four for Jack, three for Bush and Sutton. Definitely a lot to build off of, but not bad for a rookie year. Now let's get into this first of many. Don't play it cool. Every game is important when you're playing the playoff team. You have to bring your best. There are no guarantees. Maybe we can go on a miracle run to the playoffs. Or not. 28 to 14. But that's fine. Do yearly awards. Just looking at this quick. No offensive. Pickens and Pickett get 3 and 4, respectively, for offensive rookie of the year. Isaiah Pacheco on the Chiefs. Because, of course, defensive rookie of the year. Have no one cracking the top 10. Can you pick a game in top 10 of a uh, best QB, though? And Naj gain top 10 best running back. Nothing on the rest of these. Alright. Alright, mock draft 3. What, what, what are they showing here? Now we're projected to get Skaronski, which, fair enough. I, I, I can see myself, see myself taking him. Now players are ready to negotiate. Actually, before I look into this, let, let's see if any uh, players went up death trade at all. Need one for Kenny Pickett. And he's still normal. That is robbery. Uh, no others on offense. Looks like went up or down. Defensively, everyone stayed the same. Really? No, no movement. All right. Guess that makes this easier though. William Jackson. 30, maybe for a year. Yeah. Just so our corners aren't completely depleted. Terrell Edmonds moving on from Devin Bush. Try a four year, have until he's 29. Alright. Kim Sutton. Mm. Yeah, and then look 
get better next year, probably. Never mind. Alright. Chris Farmley and Larry Joby both walk. Carl Joseph, you can walk. Is anyone else here that walk? Mm, no. Some interesting names. Jamal Dean, that would be an instant upgrade over after losing uh, one of our corners. DJ Ray as well, but I want to go after Jamal Dean first. Or from something like this, maybe? Where, where does that put us? Instantly at the top. Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Strong safety, what do we have? Sean Elliott. Let's see, how old is Elliott now? Also 26. Mm. Not really looking to spend a lot the first year. Could bring Juju back. <laughs> Of course he has interest in our team. Let's see. Maybe a backup tight end? No, not really. Backup running back. Alexander Madison maybe. Bring this down a little bit. get him. Mm. So what we have for D tackle? Got the round pain. Could bring in like David Animata for like a one year. Got both Jamel Dean and Ayamata. Alright. Now let's send to the draft. Pick it. 21. Don't think I'm really going to try trading up this first year. Definitely could. I think I might actually if I... Uh, if the Shanu... Like, after the first left tackle goes, I think I might try and trade up for, for a tackle. Definitely in play. Definitely, definitely in play. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do is just watch the draft when the first tackle goes. Texans take Tyree Wilson. Okay. Atlanta takes Bryce Young. Guess Bry uh, I guess doesn't really air us over, but Bryce Young is an immediate improvement. Miles Murphy to Raiders. Well, Anderson falling all the way to four to Carolina. Trent Simpson to the Bears. Jim Carter to the bank, uh, Seattle. I can't. There. Tackles are staying on the board a little bit, and right as I say that, Olufa Shaman gets, gets drafted by the Jets. Gotta make a trade with Miami. Or at least try to. So it takes. Levi Wallace, a first rounder this year, which is ours, and a third rounder next year, to get number 13. Z goes to Dolphins and Packers, find another Aaron Rodgers replacement, and get CJ Stroud. Interesting choice. Interesting that CJ Stroud fell all the way down, to be fair.
Now we have a pick between Patrick Jones, Peter Skronsky, and Paris Johnson. A pass, B run. I think Paris Johnson's our guy. At number 13, your Pittsburgh Steelers select. Paris Johnson Jr., left tackle, Ohio State. Let's go. Alright, now let's send to our draft pick. See what's there in the second round. As your verse gets drafted to the Titans. Maybe here's where I go and get my corner. Let's see what Emmanuel Forbes on Mississippi State is working with. A catching, Z zone, Z seed zone, C man, 4 4 speed, great agility and his acceleration, good jumping. And Devin Witherspoon, where are we working with? Out of Illinois, so I already have bias. B man, C zone. D catching, which, oh well. Low 4 4 speed. Decent jumping. Pretty good agility and change of direction. I think Manuel Forbes. So we're gonna go with here. Looks a little bit better. Only normal development. 93 speed though. It's alright. Then send him to the third. Sam Laporta goes also to the Titans. Let's see, maybe here we get our. Uh, what are we looking like at strong safety? Jail Skinner, Trey Dean, and DeMarco Helms. Honestly, Trey Dean might be the might be the move. B awareness, B block shed, B hit power, C tackle, C pursuit, C play rec, C zone, B to C man. I, I like the look of trading. Trading's pretty good, and he's hidden. Bat, no, another one in for the win column. All right, send to our fourth. Then after this, gonna miss some other draft. Could double dip on corners. Noah Daniels is still here out TCU. B zone, B man, A press, D play Rick. Don't look bad, 4-4 four, four speed. You know what? I'm gonna take a chance on Noah Daniels. He's only normal. Don't like to, don't like to see that, but could be decently good overall. Right, so now I didn't like the dip trait on Forbes or Daniels, but pretty good overall. CPU also picked us up Tyler Barron and Justin English. Which are also pretty solid. Overall, I like this draft. Very, very good foundation to build on. So at the start of year two, here's what the offense is looking like. Paris Johnson slides right into left tackle. Chakuma for core four and Dan Moore backing him up at right. Don't love it, but it is what it is for now. Then on defense. Really wish I would have gotten defensive tackle, but come with Baron and a lot of milk up. So corners though looking alright. Yeah, got Jamel Dean, got Trey Dean. Don't think there's relation, but overall. Hopefully we go back to the playoffs. All right, so midseason looks like we're not doing too hot this year. Two and five. Let's look at the 
mock draft one. Projected to get a QB, Thad Olsen. Still projected to get him. Don't think we need a QB, but maybe your three of Pickett really isn't developing. Yeah, got break up running back. Najee. It's gonna be almost impossible for him to get 200 yards or four touchdowns, but Miles Jack, superstar. I think he was a superstar. William Jackson. Don't think I'm bringing you back. Highsmith. Dawson will probably work to bring back. Witherspoon. Don't think so after two rookie corners got drafted last year. Probably draft another one this year. Start with Highsmith. Maybe give him a five year bump salary. Bonus off of it. Alright. Highsmith is back. Miles Jack. Give him like a six year. Up to bonus and salary a bit. Alright. Not looking good right now with Miles Jack. Fudge. <laughs> Well, we'll see how we do at the end of the year. And at the end of year number two, we missed the playoffs, going 6 and 11, which is more on par with how we might do this year in real life. Looking at the stats, Pickett regressed heavily 23 touchdowns, 3,700 yards, 14 picks. Najee. About the same, if not slightly worse. Pickens leaned the lead, leaned the team once again. Defensively, Devin Bush, Miles Jack once again leading in six. Alex Highsmith, Hayward, and TJ leading uh, Tex Floss. TJ and Alex Highsmith once again leading for six. Picks for a couple players. Yeah. Definitely could have done better. Definitely, definitely could have done better. But, it is what it is. It's time to the offseason. Then a little more in depth look over here. At yearlies. Just real quick. Nothing on. Okay. Didn't expect anything to there. Resign players. Miles Jack went down to star. Give you seven. Up salary and bonus a little more. There we go. Finally gotten to resign. William Jackson went down to star or normal. Kevin Dotson's really the only one in here. Give him like a four year. I'd like to. Okay. Well. Screw you too, Kevin Dotson. Now I have to look at getting the guard. Hopefully, there's one for agency. Nick Bosa's here. Justin Herbert's here. Rashawn Gary. Let's see. Left guard first and foremost. Dawson's the top one. Right guard, we got John Runyon. I right, can move to left guard. Yeah, let's see about that. Uh, defensive tackle. At Oliver would be great to bring in. Might put in a little more money for him. Just 
just so we're about to somehow that alpha was worse. <laughs> Maybe give him something like that. No, might not get it. So just in case, gonna try and go after uh, Javon Hargrave, ex stealer. That's so expensive. Maybe try bring the bonus down a bit. Okay. See what else we have here. Trayvon Diggs is here. Shoot, why not try and get him? Big contract, but we have the lead on him. Players always like money. as well. Why not? Not. But we're tied with the Falcons in terms of uh, strength. Yeah. Let's evaluate offers. Got Mackay Becton. Got Ed Oliver. John Runyon and Hargrave. Oh and I'm not seeing is Trayvon Diggs. Javon went to the Jags. We tried. Maybe try going after a uh, Cam Dantzler. Give him something like that, maybe. Going to the top offer. Michael Pittman. When mine Pittman. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's try and go after Pittman. No, we we can lower the money on that a little bit. We still have top offer over Seattle. Alright. I don't mind that. Alright. Let's see about the offer again. Pittman's still waiting. But now we also got Cam Dantzler. We didn't get Pittman, or what happened? Pittman went to Seattle. All right. Hey, just because you offer more money, don't mean you're gonna get one. All right. Send to the draft. We have we have pick seven. Let's look at the draft board. Got three QBs in the top five. I mean, that Olsen, holy cow. Elite throw power, elite change of direction. A deep, A medium. A to C short, probably is A. <laughs> That also looks like I can't miss. What about Jonathan Kemp? Elite strength. Great throw power. Yeah, already looks worse. 
Do I take a QB? Hmm. See what other players we have first before that. But. You suck. Randy Chamberlain sucks. Good to know. Um, what are we looking at? Wide receiver. Looks like a poor receiver class. Very poor receiver class. Okay, Chris Woodard looks like a beast. With elite strength. That's all you need. Just need to find someone with like elite strength, especially at certain positions like offensive line and defensive line. Especially defensive tackle. He also has elite strength. Put thirty eight reps on the bench. Then it bad. And he's six six zero seven. I'm still debating on if I take that Olsen, but if I take him, I'm probably going to have to trade up for him. And there he goes, number one overall. I was not trading up to number one. And Jeffrey's the number two. Yeah. I might just trade down and try and acquire more draft picks. Chris Woodard, top seven pick. Let's see what kind of offers I can get for this first. Titans trade seems pretty good. Is there a team with two first round draft picks this year? Alright, so the trade I was able to work out is trading my first this year, Eric Forbes, who we just drafted last year, and Kendrick Green, for the Giants' first this year, a second this year, and a first next year. So I think it worked out pretty good. Luke Wilcox kind of is intriguing. I think the move here is Chris McAllister. Although he runs a 4 4. Mm. What do we have at D tackle? Barclay. With elite strength. I might change to a 3-4, or a 4-3, I mean, you know, if I do, I'll need a second defensive tackle. Highsmith and Watt will be on the ends. Barclay's normal. This draft class just kind of sucked outside the quarterback. Maybe that corner is still here, Chris McAllister, but I doubt it. And he's not. This guy could almost be running back. I 
Never mind, he's six foot four. Two hundred and thirty one pounds. Never mind. <laughs> So after that first round pick, I uh, simmed it off after that. Got a 73 running back and linebacker. CPU didn't drift terribly. What's the linebacker looking like? He's actually hidden. So great on me for not being able to find it. And then Troy Trainer, normal. And what else would... Probably not. What's Peter Grayson working with? Kind of trash. Alright, I do want to look at Rod Weldon's, uh... Development. He's an ex... <laughs> He's an X-Factor. Alright. Alright, alright. Well, yeah, that also I knew was going to be crazy high overall. 80 though, and he's only normal. Damn. How about the uh, other quarterback? That was top. Jonathan Kemp of Sam Houston. He's the hidden one. What, what do you have? Probably only star. Has to be only star, right? Yeah. But definitely, Olsen is the better QB. Well, on to year number three. So on defense, it looks like Highsmith did go up after last year. But it looks like Cam Hayward retired. And also, I have now switched to a 4-3, and on offense, I'm running a West Coast uh, zone run. So on offense, I'm now running um, San Fran playbook, and on defense, I'm running Seattle's 4-3 playbook. This, I just feel like, will help the team better perform the same. Hopefully, anyways, get us a little more pressure. Pickett really needs to go up this year. Bush, you're getting moved to outside linebacker. Also on offense, it looks like Deontay Johnson went down. But look at this offense. You can't tell me this. Pickett, you should be able to succeed with this offense. And on defense. We need a fourth corner. <laughs> so our new corner is going to be uh, William Jackson. Bring him back in one year. Because we only have three on the roster. And we don't want that now, do we? Alright, let's him to mid-season. I'll meet you there. So I'm jumping in at the mid-season mark. We're three and four. And I'm um, looking at the mock draft. Right now I'm predicted to get a corner. And after the first one, a corner. So no matter what, they're wanting us to get a corner. Looking at the prospects. Marcus Bolden. Looking alright. Deep accuracy is alright. C short is not desirable. Also, that's Borden, like Lizzie Borden. Nah, Jimmy Milton looking about like 50 years old. Great to leap throw power, that throw power is elite. And any of these quarterbacks, if the throw power is elite at the end of the year, the rest of their skill set could look trash. But. Oh, he needs that elite throw power, possibly. On any of the three, top three, possibly projected quarterbacks. I don't know. 
That was a lot of threes. <laughs> Alright, players are ready to negotiate. This may be expensive. Najee Harris is the first one. Well, I'm here for the long term, obviously. He's still developing. And he's back with the team. Deontay Johnson, already 28. Maybe try to keep him till he's 32, 33, I mean. I can't. Yeah. Math is hard. He resigns, thank God. Fryer must. Resigned. James Daniels. Resigns, luckily. Okor for no, Dan Moore no, Harvin, yeah. Alright. William Jackson. Maybe. Probably not, hopefully not, but maybe. National Focus QB. <laughs> hopefully we make the playoffs. And at the end of year number three, we go nine and eight, but unfortunately missed the playoffs. I don't think Pickett's our guy. Looking at the stats, Pickett, after that first year, kind of just went to crap. <laughs> Deontay, yeah. Defense, as long as I see improvement here. Miles Jack, Devin Bush, lean team tackles. 17 K, those all look good. That's the sack production I needed. Let's go. Are we gonna have to keep William Jackson? Like, I don't mind, but. <laughs> Alright. Meet you in the offseason. Alright, look going into free agency, let's see what we have. Panay Sewell. Not really a whole lot to be honest. Bunch of just eh. Unfortunately, I mean, it's good though that there's not a lot because we're kind of low on salary cap. Could get Tyson Campbell or try to. See so where that offer puts us. We're the only team that offered. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, what am I doing? Now, 49ers are trying to get him too. He's mine, San Fran. Told you, he's mine. Alright, draft time. Hopefully one of the QBs is good. Alright, we're now here at the draft. We pick a pick 16, obviously. We can go back. And trade up. Especially if one of these QBs seems like the one, which I hope one the the two do. I like throw power, elite strength, decent enough speed. I just don't like the A, B, and C 
Jimmy Middleton. Where are you working at? Alright. Borden is going to be the one. Because of the elite strength as well. Borden's definitely the one. Let's make a trade. Alright, so the trade is our first this our later first this year and our first rounder next year for the number one over pick from the Eagles. So uh, let's make our pick. We're getting boarded. And he only has one. But ninety seven throw power. 85 Excel, 72 speed. Hopefully, this ain't a sign of things to come. I may have possibly found a generational player. Elite Excel, Elite Agility, Elite Speed. Runs a 427 in this pro day. Sure, these four stats don't look that good, but you can't teach speed, and he's only normal. Well, crap. Shit. We finally have a hidden corner, Raheem McMillan of Iowa State. Six foot three, 93 speed, 92 jumping, 95 change of direction, 92 agility, 91 excel. That is a good player. I think I might sim it out and just see. So draft recap. Um, looking pretty good. Five picks in a row. We're all 70 and above. Unfortunately, these two are normal, but it is what it is. What was the highest overall this year? Our quarterback actually, so it was just a down year. Jerry Winter. Who we went in the fifth round. Holy crap. Okay. Got some competition in the division, I see. Paul Kendricks. Didn't need a backup tight end. We'll admit, we did need that, so. Get on CPU for that. No looking at roster. Borden, obviously, is the starter. Offensive line looking at. Hoffman, actually, is also a uh, starter better. Hidden. That's what I'm trying to say. McMillan, unfortunately, probably eh, move him up a little bit, anyways. Trey Dean, after one year, goes down to normal. Unfortunate. Weldon at least kept his dev trait, so that's a plus. Love to see that. He's a 77, <laughs> 76 overall. Has selfless and adrenaline rush. Guess to be fair, that's the only thing he can do. So, looking forward to this team. I'll meet you at the mid-season mark. So here we are, back at the mid-season mark. Four and three, 85 overall. A's on defense, 85 offense, 85 overall. Set all that out of order. Mock draft two though. Oh yeah, I forgot we don't even have a first round pick. But it's fine because we have our QB of the future in Borden. Got breakout running backs in area. For Naji. Again, four touchdowns, two hundred plus yards. Let's see what see if he can do it. We, we handed the Packers their first loss of the year. And now we have a breakout DB after this as well. 
now she, you literally have to try and get four touchdowns or 200 yards rushing. Who's this breakout DB? Trey Dean. Hey, could go back up to star. I like the sound of it. Alright, let, let's look at these players ready to negotiate. Punter, no. No. TJ Watt. Ooh, that's a big one. I wouldn't give him like a five, four year. Something about that. Let's go. We got TJ Watt for, for the rebuild. George Pickens. Not interested in signing. Give him like a seven. Solves every issue. Go in Austin. No, pick it. No, wheel. No. Alright. It's a go time. Actually, let's just send the week again to see if we get the DB. We actually lost to the Browns. Jeez, man. Yep. And he didn't get it. to hopefully in the playoffs this year. And once again, looks like we just barely missed out, going 8-8-1, possibly time with the Ravens. Fuck. What do I have to do to make this team better? Like, actually, this is ridiculous. Does our QB at least win Rookie of the Year? Nope, Jay Black wins it. Whatever the hell that is, I don't even remember seeing them. Uh, let's check out the stats for the season. There's 700 yards, 22. Okay, that's why he didn't win. Najee, a little bit better this year. George Pickens, back to the. <laughs> TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith fell off this year. Alright. Doing alright in terms of that. Let's see what free agency looks like. So, just quickly looking at dead trade changes. Najee went down to star, Deontay's still star. Mika Fitzpatrick went up to superstar X Factor. TJ Watt and Weldon are both still X Factors. And Oliver's still. Superstar and Highsmith unfortunately went down to star. Danzel went down to star. McMillan went down to star. Assuming he had, or normal. Assuming he had to star. Crap, man. Also, this needs to change on Fitzpatrick. Universal coverage is like bad. At least to me. See this year we've got Garrett Wilson. We're not even sniffing the top five. Maybe maybe, maybe something more like that might be closer. James Williams is here though. And at speed. For a quarterback with late throw power. Might be GG. We're below the ramps in this. We're above the ramps in this now. I 
don't know what else I can need. <laughs> Maybe a backup running back. Give me Isaiah Pacheco. For like a four year. Yes, I see Delvin, I see Damian Pierce. I don't care. I don't need that good of a running back. Maybe a better back on the linebacker. Devin Lloyd. Maybe David Ojabo. Or below the 49ers. Don't think so. Devon Hamilton. We got Jameson. We got, we got all five. Let's go. Big spenders? I don't care. Right, I'll, I'll meet you at the draft. Two years in a row, the Eagles have a top have the top pick in the draft. Hey, it's almost my name. <laughs> Jamie Lipton. Yeah, we definitely picked a good year to draft a quarterback, aka last year. Unless this guy just is high in the cannon. Nope. High in good acceleration, jumping though. But everyone knows white men can't jump. since we don't even have a first round of this year. Joe Parks of Mid Tennessee State quarterback. Interesting. Corners look bad. actually hidden. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna sim it out after that pick. So looking at the draft recap, Thompson was a 71, Cody Thomas who was a 74, also hidden dev. Two hidden dev guards in the same draft, not bad. And after that, draft ca class kinda looks bad. Is there any really high overall in this one? No, just a bunch of mid-tier guys, as I expected. All right, we're here at the mid-season mark. Why are there trade offers for David Ojabo? 
I don't want to trade him. They're decent offers, but I don't want to trade them. So, no. <laughs> this is year five. Hopefully we make get to the playoffs. Where the players are ready to negotiate. Minka. So the top two definitely. Might not be able to make this work. But we got Mika to accept. Jamal Dean. Except like a Year. All right. Mm, Devin Bush. John and Devin Bush. Mm. Paris Johnson, most definitely. And we now have no salary cap. So this is the last year of the rebuild. I hope we make the playoffs. I'll meet you at playoff week. And at the end of year number five, we have a first round bye in the playoffs. King finally. We went 12 and 5. Let's see the stats for the year. Marcus Borden, 4,900 yards, 36 touchdowns, 11 picks, 1,100 yards, 19 touchdowns for Najee. Deontay and George Pickens both had 1,000 plus yards, 10 touchdowns for Pickens, 8 touchdowns for Deontay. Defensively, Miles Jack and Devil Bush, like they have literally every single season, I feel like, led team tackles. Nice Flores, TJ Watt, Ival Vernon, Alex Highsmith. TJ Watt breaking the single season sack record. 27 and a half. 17 for Highsmith. 5 and a half for Ival over. Miles Jack, two interceptions and a bunch of people with one. Let's go. Finally, actually making progress. Let's see who we take on in the divisional round. Got the Chargers, who we just beat weeks at, uh, 18. Th this is our second playoff game. Lovely, funnily enough, it was against the Chargers last time as well. Once again, we're going to play it cool. Whatever. Let's hop in, see what we're working with. They got Jalen Catalan up to Superstar, that, that's pretty cool. See what we're working with. Chargers go up 7 nothing. then we get strike back 7, 10-7-14-10, still 14-10, 17-10, 2 minutes left, go up 20-10 going into halftime, 27-17, at the end of the third, fourth quarter, up by 10 points, up by 13, this game should be over. We're only up by six. Can the defense hold for a minute? And just like that, we won our playoff game against the Chargers. It was close. Borden, 334 yards and two touchdowns. Stop asking me. No, it wasn't enjoyable. I didn't enjoy my last match. Shut up, game. Bunch of upgrades. 
didn't mean to click into James Daniel. Just meant to do that. <laughs> Alright, let, let's see who we're taking on in the conference championship. Ooh, Buffalo. Alright. Greg Rousseau's up to Superstar X Factor. Allen's up to X Factor. Diggs. Alright. They got some players. They got a team around them. But we have home field advantage throughout the playoffs, baby. Alright, Bills go right down, get a field goal. We go down, get a touchdown. Then they go up, get a touchdown. What happened there? Offense struggling a little bit. Strike back with touchdown. Hold them to a field goal. Missed a field goal going into second half, halftime. Down by six. Up by three, down by three I mean. Down by six again. Turn the ball over. Offense needs a miracle. Defense has to hold them. You know what? Let's jump in at the end of the game. Almost pay. Damn it. Have to get to 37 while also trying to get out of bounds. Clock it, clock it, clock it. Why is it? How? How is that thrown straight to the linebacker? Best game. How and why was that thrown straight to the linebacker? I suck. Your Steelers are now going to the Super Bowl. We lost by two points. I'm sorry. But we built a great team. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. I suck at the game. Here's a final look at the team. Board in 83. Obviously, morale. No players go up on offense. No players go up on defense. Actually, Weldon went down to Superstar. But, it's a great team. Just couldn't get it done when it mattered most. Unfortunate. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, this was Mike the Outsider. Same piece. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.